What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Neverwinter. Today I want to talk about something that I know a lot of console players are looking for. And of course that is the new Chult shirt and pants that you can get out of the new Skirmish. Now these are 480 item level. And before I get into my thoughts and exactly what you can get from the Skirmish in general, in case you are new guys, this is a, a new Skirmish that has been added in with the recent update. Of course it's the Merchant Prince's Folly. As you can see it takes a required item level of 10,000 to get into so if you're looking for these and you're trying to shoot towards getting them that is the item level that you're going to need to be required to be to be able to get into the merchant prince's folly now once you get in this guys you have to get it gold to get a chance for them to drop at the end just like a random drop i've only ever got these to drop one time and that was just the shirt now you do have the option to open the box that is there you can either craft the key within the Chult campaign or you can buy the Dragon Keys from the Zen Market and open them with that as well. Now that box does not have to have, you know, you don't have to have a certain level. You don't have to get gold to be able to open that box. You can open that box no matter whatever level you finish the skirmish at. But it is not a guaranteed drop either way. You're going to get it. Whether you get it out of the box or the drop at the end. If you do complete it within the gold status. Now there are other, some other things you can get. Banners and decorations for your stronghold. A green companion. Uh, of course a green mount. And some refinement material. So there's not a, a, like I said, not a guarantee. I've only gotten these three times. I've played this skirmish a lot. So it's definitely going to take a little bit of grinding. Unless you just have some incredible luck. And of course I have seen some people get one piece to drop. And they open up the box and get the other piece as well. So it's going to kind of depend. My luck with them have not been that great. Now, they are 480, and I know we've talked before about gear score or, or the item level of the gear may not necessarily reflect what you need. You know, the higher the level does not always mean it is the best. You want to fit whatever the stats are to the way you're playing, the play style, the character that you have created. You want to fit that equipment to that character so it improves it and does not just make item level higher because the item level does not always make you a great player you know you can have high item level but not the right stats and it's really not going to work for you for these you definitely it doesn't really matter i would say go for them for sure they're not the greatest thing ever they do not have a set bonus i was kind of hoping they would have a set bonus for having them both on but they do have a neat feature as you can see the shirt has you gain 150 recovery for each ally in your team the equip stats is 358 crit and 462 defense. I was kind of disappointed in the defense. I was hoping they were both going to be just crit and armor pins since that's really armor pins have been a pushed thing with a lot of the gear within Chult needing a higher armor pin and whatnot. And of course the pants give you 15 life steal for each percent of health you are missing which is not bad either especially if you've built life steal within your character's build. Of course you get 1146 max hit points which is always a help on no matter what the character is that you are that you are building that you're using and of course you also get 430 armor pin and the one that's kind of throws me off is the 404 defense i'm not quite sure why they put 104 defense why they just didn't make that armor pin you know like 500 even or 550 or whatever and just leave that last stat because 104 defense is really not a big deal either way no matter what your build is so um i think overall guys they're not the most impressive piece of gear of course you can receive from Chult. there's a lot of other things you can do you know farm lures and that kind of thing and get some really good armor pieces of course you can play the tomb of the nine gods and get some great gear but i think this is a good decent set because really there's no other options besides the mysterious merchant does have the pants and shirt of course i have never seen them in the mysterious merchant that i have been around but there is an option to get them from there and also there is an option uh you know for the old sets the 405 the 435s and whatnot but i think if you can you can and have the ability and the item level to get into uh, to the new skirmish and you can farm these. I would definitely recommend it because that 480 is going to help you a little bit with that item level. And plus, like I said, they both have that equip bonus, which is pretty, pretty good. Uh, not like I said, nothing great, but it's definitely something I would recommend you picking up if you can. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about these pants and shirts. If you, have you, if you have been able to get them, uh, have you been trying? Have you got them? Have you not? Leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And of course, um, guys, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.